What's going on guys, Merrick here back with another Dragon Ball Super video. Today Bandai has dropped a bunch of promo information uh, regarding the uh, Broly Pack 2, the Tournament Pack promos, and even our Box Promotion promos. So we got a lot of stuff to look into and honestly I have not been excited for uh, some of this stuff in quite a while. Let's go ahead and check this shit out. So first up, we have our Tournament 6 promo card, starting with Veku Triumphant Might. He's a 4-cost 10,000 power with Union Fusion for 1 red using a red Goku BR and Vegeta BR. He's got Barrier, and his auto says, Once per turn, when your opponent act switches their energy to active mode using a non-awakened skill during your turn, choose up to one of your opponent's energy and place it in its own as drop area. So more energy hate. Like, I don't understand it, especially now that Trunks is limited to 1. Activate main says, place this card in its owner's drop area, choose up to one red Goku BR and Vegeta BR from your drop and add them to your hand. So basically for one energy you get to fuck up their energy and maybe get an attack in and then you get the Goku and BR, Vegeta BR back to your hand. So, kind of cool but, I, again, I don't understand the energy hate if they already got rid of Trunks and what, Sensu Bean's really the only big thing that's left besides Soul Striker hate. Then we have Hercule the Majin Whisperer. I'm glad to see we're getting more Majin Buu support. It's not exactly the kind of support that I want, but I like it nonetheless. It's a 1 cost of 1,000 power. When you play this card, choose up to 1 Majin Buu card in your battle area. And if there's a Majin Buu card with an energy cost of 1 under it, choose up to 1 Majin Buu card with an energy cost of 1 among them. And play it in your battle area. And if you played a card, draw 1 card. So, you play this boo or you play this hercule you get out a one drop boo then the one drop boo's ability is going to activate and then you're going to draw a card on top of that so you're going to add a few cards to your hand using this and i kind of like this uh not to mention like like the art looks dope it's probably my favorite hercule art we've gotten it just it looks cool and it'll look really cool with the uh tournament pack promo foiling too so this is definitely one of the cards i'm looking forward to getting but i'm really looking forward to getting this one here demonic invasion majin boo he's a seven cost thirty thousand power says when a majin boo card in your battle area with an energy cost of six or more is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill Activate this skill. If Demonic Invasion Majin Buu isn't in play in your battle area, you may play this card from your hand. So, he's kind of a free-to-play uh, as like a backup if one of your Majin Buu cards gets killed. Now, with the Majin Buu deck, you're either going for Buu Han or you're going for Ultimate Evil. So, more than likely, when you play them, you're probably going to be pushing for game. In the case that you don't win... This is a fantastic free-to-play card that can give you game in the following turn. I mean, 30,000 power is nothing to scoff at at all. And, again, that art is amazing. I would prefer more Fat Boo support. Uh, but, nonetheless, that card is beautiful. And that is the number one card I think I might be looking forward to in this pack. Then we have Super Saiyan God Vegeta, Energy of the Gods. He's a 3 cost, 15,000. His permit says if your opponent has 2 or more battle cards in play, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by 2. So again, we have another uh, BR version of Goku slash Vegeta that reduces its energy cost to play it to the board. That still screams Vegito support to me. Is it possible we're going to see a Vegito BR at some point? Because I don't understand why you would keep making... Uh, Goku and Vegeta's that play to the board when Gogeta uses them from hand. This is clearly Vegito type stuff. He's got Auto Sparking 3 which says when you play this card choose any number of your opponent's battle cards for which the total cost adds up to 2 or less and KO them. So kind of like the 3 drop uh, full power Vegeta that we got in Union Force uh, where on play you could KO up to 2 battle cards that uh for a combined total of three or less so kind of similar but he reduces himself but again i don't see the point in him playing to the board when uh gogeta wants them in your hand still a dope looking card nonetheless and i will not complain if i end up pulling one of those now this card here is probably one of the other ones i'm looking forward to the most it's shatter kick super saiyan 2 sun gohan 
He's a 4 cost 20,000 power. His auto says once per turn, when this card attacks a battle card and your opponent has 4 more cards in rest mode, switch this card to active mode. So he gets dual attack. And when this card KOs an opponent's battle card, draw one card. So, essentially, you're going to play him and just, he's there to KO battle cards. He's not there uh, to try and deal damage to your opponent's life because you can either swing with him and KO one card and get to draw a card and then leave him in active mode or you can swing twice and get to draw two extra cards either way that art is amazing and this card is going to be fantastic especially for the new yellow gohan support and i that's going to be that's going to be my deck in set six unless blue gives us some crazy crazy stuff which we did see we just get a, a hercule and a majin boo so it is possible we will want blue instead of yellow but right now yellow is looking strong then we got Bojack the Tyrant. He's a 4 cost 20,000 power with double strike. And his permanent says if your opponent has 2 or more battle cards in play in rest mode, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by 1. When you play this card from your hand, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode. It can't be switched to active mode until the end of your opponent's next turn. So it essentially, the energy reduction makes it to where he is more compatible with the cards that come in as set six, the Bojack, uh, which is Bojack Brigade, and then he's got, you know, he's got that ability that's preventing your opponent from switching their stuff to active mode, which some of the other cards in the set do uh, similar effects as well. So very nice to see that it's, you know, on the same level as the stuff in the actual set. Then we've got the three star Dragon Ball. It's a one cost Dragon Ball. So says, draw one card, then choose up to one of your battle cards, and it can attack battle cards in active mode for the duration of the turn. Yo, that's powerful. That's powerful, and that prevents the need from having to run certain cards in your side deck, or even in your main deck if you were running them just in case. So that's definitely really powerful. I think that'll be seen as at least a one of, a two of, maybe even a three of in, uh, in future Shenron decks. Then we've got the five star ball as well, which is a one cost. It says draw one card, then choose up to one of your battle cards and it gains blocker until the end of your opponent's next turn. That is pretty powerful as well. It'd be better for stuff that has uh, revenge. But at the same time, if you've got a really powerful battle card. But see, that's the thing is what would you play this on that didn't have revenge? that you would want to use because you could use it on like you know a, a two one of your 25 30,000 battle card but you're probably attacking with them so I feel like this one is a lot less useful than the three star ball but I'm sure this card can have some good uses especially like I said with cards with revenge the first and the second place player of every tournament will also get one of two card protectors uh, the first one's gonna have Broly with the, in the background with uh, Gogeta in the front and center uh we won't even see what the second one looks like until february 22nd which is pretty much an entire month away hopefully it's something cool but it'll probably be something else from the broly movie more than likely and top two will also get one of two alternate style reprints being a foil cold bloodlust or a foil mafuba honestly with the way the game is going right now either card could be worth it i mean cold bloodlust is becoming one of the most popular cards again just because we're getting more and more uh freezes army leaders and uh you can actually run the card now and not be running like an obsolete leader and with mafuba mafuba is always a great card if you're running blue and i'm gonna want it anyways not just because it's blue and it's a really good card but because it's got my boy future trunks on it it's got zamasu the foil just looks like it's gonna be really dope so i'll probably want the mafuba more than the bloodlust which will probably make most of the people around my area pretty happy then we have our replacement for the masked saiyan that came with every box of set five and it is super saiyan blue gogeta fusions pinnacle now remember you get one of these cards with every box of set six and the art looks pretty dope and hopefully the foiling does as well he's a seven drop thirty thousand power he's an ex evolve for one red energy on top of a red gogeta br with an energy cost of six he's got triple strike 
and auto sparking 10 when a card evolves into this card your opponent can't activate skills on battle cards for the duration of the turn so essentially he's a triple strike that prevents um prevents blocker or even no since he prevents your opponent's battle card skills from activating he wouldn't prevent the deadly defenders because theirs is a permanent so it's not activating or anything like that but he would prevent blocker so he would be a a good I could see him being abused with the Shenron leader uh, to give him triple attack, triple strike. He can't be blocked, and as long as they've got, you know, yellow energy for bad ring laser, they can, you know, stop you from negating their shit. Definitely a powerful card, though. Then we've got the five cards that come in Broly Pack 2, starting with Whis the Instructor. He's a three cost, 10,000 power. When you combo with this card, choose up to one. Sun Goku BR card, Vegeta BR card, or Gogeta BR card from your drop area and add it to your hand. And you just have to combo with him. He's got a combo energy of 1 for 5,000 power. So, a bit of a steep cost for that. But you get to add any of them back to your hand, uh, which is nice. So, if you needed to get a Gogeta uh, to fusion with, or you need a Goku or Vegeta to fusion with, that you might have uh, milled off the top of your deck with Burst or something then you can get him back, or even if you used them for a fusion previously and you need to do it again. So, nice card, I really like that, and I don't know, the, this this art style is it's interesting. I, I like it, but at the same time, it's just interesting. Then we have Go G Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta Frenzied Burst. He's a 10 cost, 35,000. Ooh, he's an EX Evolve for 8 energy. 8 energy on top of a Gogeta BR with an energy cost of 6. He has Barrier. His auto says when a card evolves into this card, take the top 6 cards from your deck and add them to your energy. Activate Main says once per turn, if you have 15 or more energy, choose up to 4 of your opponent's life and place them at the bottom of their deck in any order. Wow. It's super early in the morning and I shouldn't even be awake at this hour, but holy shit. That is ridiculous. And, you know, now that I think about it, playing for 8 energy, like, it's not... It's not as far-fetched as it seems because I forgot the... Uh, the Veku and the other Gogeta also, you know, play cards to your energy. But I'm wondering... So, this... This would give you multiple win conditions if you were to combine this with the Beerus Leader. So you run this stuff with the Beerus Leader, and then it becomes a race to see whether or not you can use the Gogeta skill to take out their last four life, or the Beerus skill to just say, I fucking win. That's interesting, and I, I'm going to have to look and see, but so far I honestly don't think there is a more uh, cheeky way to play with this stuff with any other leader. I'll have to check the, Go the Gogeta BR leaders again, but I don't know. I'm liking the Gogeta Beers uh, concept. Seems really fun. Then we've got Paragus, the Sacrifice. He's a 1 cost 5,000 power with activate main. Once per turn, choose one green card from your battle area other than this card and place it in the drop area. Draw one card. So he pretty much, you play him, you get to draw a card, you get to force your... Broly into the drop and then get to start his shenanigans again. Pretty straightforward. Then we have Broly Explosive Wrath. He's a 9 cost 35,000 that you EX evolve for 2 yellow energy on top of a yellow Broly BR with an energy cost of 7. He's got Double Strike. His permanent says if the total number of cards in rest mode between you and your opponent is 8 or more, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by 4. So he'd be a 5 cost. So you could play him... Could you play him with the... The Broly cards in the set? That's... Instead of having to EX evolve him? Ew. And it's the total number of rest mode cards... Between both you and your opponent. Like, just any cards at all. Wow. Yeah, that could be... That could be pretty deadly. Activate main says, once per turn, choose one card from your hand and place it in your drop area. If your opponent has three or more energy, choose up to one of your opponent's cards in rest mode and place it in its owner's drop area. Just one of your opponent's cards. So, there goes one of your energy. There's, n I don't see any reason that they would probably pick anything but your energy unless you're really setting up a play. Or you've attempted to go for game, failed, and they want to get rid of that 
that finisher from your side of the board. Then we've got Shenron, Wishing Anew. He's a 4 cost 20,000. Permanent says this card can't attack. Of course not. Uh, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Then choose up to one desire card with an energy cost of two or less from your drop and add it to your hand. I mean, and it's Shenron BR. <laughs> they had to make a difference there. So I wonder if that's worth playing over the current 4 drop Shenron. Now I suppose the difference is this one this one lets you get a KO and lets you get back a desire card. However, the other Shenron's abilities aren't just on the turn you play him. But I can see I can see reasons to run both. I don't know if I would say together, but I can definitely see why this card would be played over the other one and vice versa. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. Honestly, we've got a lot of cool promo support coming out. Uh, the box promotion Gogeta seems pretty cool. And uh, some of the stuff coming out of the Broly pack seems cool as well. But I am most excited for these tournament pack cards. The Hercule, the Kid Boo, the uh, Yellow Gohan. Like, there's just there's so much good stuff coming in the tournament pack. And I haven't been this excited for a tournament pack in a while. I think the Set 2 tournament pack was probably my favorite. Uh, and since then, like, we've had cards here and there, but, oh my god, I have to get four of the Hercule foil, four of the Boo foil, minimum. And I would like four of the Gohan foils as well. Uh, but if you guys are as excited as I am for all this stuff for set six, especially the tournament pack cards, make sure you hit that like button down below for us. You know, we appreciate the support. We appreciate all of our subscribers as well. As always, you guys kill it on our Dragon Ball support, and we really do appreciate you guys being here to see our opinions on the upcoming cards and even share your own with us. I do really enjoy having discussions with you guys in the comments as well. Let me know what you're most excited for coming out of these promos and coming out of Series 6 as well. Do you think Blue is going to have more Majin Buu support than just that Hercule and that Kid Buu in the tournament pack? I sure as hell hope so because Majin Buu is one of my favorite characters out of the entire franchise. But with that, we're going to go ahead and get the frig out of here now and we'll see you guys in the next video.